Hi everyone. Um, I'm Brandy from Brush by Brandy, and tonight I'm painting live with Brooke Sobel from um, Heartland Vintage Market. We're a few minutes late. We have some technical difficulties. Come on and let me know that you're here. Let me know you can see and hear us. Um, and I'm going to invite Brooke on to come paint with me tonight. Um, so Brooke is special to me because Brooke is my local Dixie Belle retailer. She is about uh, 20 minutes from where I live and she's about five minutes from where we're building our house right now. So um, Brooke has saved me from many a Dixie Belle paint emergency. Those times when you think you can squeeze an entire bedroom set out of an eight ounce and you run out, um, she has saved me. So get to know where your local Dixie Belle retailer is because you never know when you're going to have that emergency. Um, and no online sale is going to save you from that. Um, so know your local retailers because they're your best resource. So I'm going to bring Brooke on. Tonight we are going to be doing some nightstands um, and we have some two-tone paint finishes planned. Um, so usually we do split screen because I'm so far away from a lot of the retailers, but Brooke is my local retailer. So hello, <laughs> we're really painting together. Hi. <laughs> We were gonna go in two separate screens and surprise you guys. Yeah. She was gonna like photobomb me. Yeah. But we couldn't figure it out. Yeah, we had, we're totally technically yeah. inept. Blind leading the oh, blind. Oh, it was bad. So we're sorry we're late. Thank you for being here. Hi. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Kelly. Hi, ladies. Let Hi, us know Holly. where you guys are watching from. Um, we're gonna give away some Dixie Bell paint tonight. We're gonna do spin to win. So, um, how this works is if you guys come on and you um, like our broadcast, share it on your page, and then um, tell us what color you would paint our nightstands. If you had them, what would you do with them? Um, and then at the end of the broadcast, we're going to choose someone live and we will spin for some awesome prizes. We've got Dixie Belle paint, waxes, um, glazes, boss, slick stick, you name it. Awesome. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Stacy. Nice to see you ladies. Welcome. I'm Brooke Sobel from Heartland Vintage Market. I'm so excited to be sharing the stage with Brandy tonight. I'm a very simple painter. I'm a painter. She's an artist. <laughs> it's true. It's true. She does amazing work. I'm kind of a simple classic painter. So I'm going to be doing something a little more simple and she's gonna be doing her magical thing. Don't buy that, you guys. So, oh, because true. Brooke's local to me, I've been following her page since before there was a Heartland Vintage Market. Yeah. And it caught my eye. I would see her painting out for sale in the local marketplaces, and she does beautiful work. Her oh, work is beautiful. Yeah, so, but... she's definitely worth taking notice of. Go follow her page at Heartland Vintage Market, you guys. Thank and you, she's, Randy. she's a riot on camera, too. Yeah. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Laura. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the camera a wee bit, and we're gonna hope this works. Like you can see us both. Are we both on I here? Think yeah. you can. I no think you split can. screen. This is really this is real like life. we're no, next to each other. No split screen. Look, we're I trying can to touch read. Her. Hi, Betty. <laughs> no, Betty, you're you're not late at all. We are late, actually. We are late. Yes. And I've got my little iPad here, so I can actually see some of your comments. Hi, Stephanie. I can. Just tell me you what I'm miss missing because I can't Betty. see them. Oh, you know what I can because I have my phone over here. Yeah, but my um, I've got my iPad, but it's like a 30 second delay, so um, I'm kind of out of the screen over there. I'm gonna scare. Um, I'm Brandy from Brush by Brandy, and I'm gonna turn the volume off. Yeah, there's nothing worse than hearing your own voice. <laughs> Seriously, it's like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> it is. It is. Okay, so what colors do you have going on? What are you doing? So I've got this antique nightstand. Yeah, I believe, um, sorry about the truck, it's almost gone. No, you guys, you know what? We're in California and we're so lucky. We're outside yeah. right now and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like 5.30 p.m. and it's yeah. like, what, 80 degrees out here? I don't know. It's. I don't think it's that warm. No, but it's just like perfect. It's perfect yeah. t-shirt weather. And um, so we were going to paint inside and it felt like a cave yeah. in there. And I'm like, no, 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 let's, let's go outside. So we're going to so, take advantage. We're really yeah. outside right And now. actually, I think we're the last ones here. This is where in front of my shop. And I think all the other people have left. So we got it all to ourselves. So I, um, being the more kind of simpler painter, I'm going to, <laughs> sometimes I get fancy, yeah. but mostly I don't. I've seen you. You did that one in um, Vintage Duck Egg with the Dixie Dirt. 
that was oh, well, one of my Dick, I love Dixie Dirt, yeah. but that's simple to me. <laughs> well, yeah, but to a lot of, not to a yeah. lot, I think Dixie Dirt is intimidating. Well, it does take a little practice. Yeah. So I'm going to use two colors on, well, actually three. I'm going to use Drop Cloth. Oh, I forgot to turn. Ah! I forgot to turn the, um, uh, so it's not backwards. Hang with me. You guys. Um, <laughs> if I can do it now, I think I can, because I hate that. You know when all the lettering's backwards, and I think I know how to fix it. No, you know, I always get asked if I'm a lefty, because it makes everything uh, in reverse. It does make everything in reverse, but I'd rather do that than have to have you look at backwards stuff, right? Is that better? So, that should work, right? Right? So now, we're not backwards, right? How's it look, guys? Is it backwards? Or am I totally wrong? Right. I don't know. I don't I'm think using drop cloth. Where do our, our comments go? Um, let's see. Nope and no. Sure. Nope. Thanks for sharing, ladies. Backwards. Nope, meaning what? It is backwards. Still? Yeah. Still backwards. Oh, good lord. Okay, Whatever. So we'll I, just be backwards. Can I just undo? Oh, oh, I know what I did. I didn't finish it. There. Okay. I just have to okay. Last time, you guys, and then we'll move on. Now it's right words, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right words. Right, right, right words. Right. All right. So anyway, I'm going to do drop cloth. Don't, the... don't tell us it's still backwards. It's not. Do oh, not. yeah, because I'm on the other side now. Look, oh, look right. at us. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Yay. So I'm going to do drop cloth on the base. Simple face. <laughs> oh, my God. Good Lord. We are creatives. We are not technical people. No. <laughs> Dixie Bell should have sent you an IT person, not I'm me. I'm serious. Um, and then just to finish my train of thought, I'm, I mixed um, Stormy Seas and Fluff. How do I not have a fluff out here? To get um, a very light version of Stormy Seas. That's kind of, Stormy Seas is like one of my absolute favorite yeah. colors. And um, if you mix it with any of the whites, here's my nice messy bottle. Yeah. You get a really pretty. That's reality. That's yeah. really what the this, containers look like. This, this is, is day one. Yeah. This is the real deal. But, uh, that and all of our clothes look like that too. Yes, yes, yes. I already got paint on my new shoes. Um, okay, so I have a base of, um, where'd my video go? Um, let's see if I can move this. I primed my piece with Dixie Belle Boss and so did, um, Brooke, but yes. my boss is in white yes. and her boss is clear. Clear. Which is so cool because we both did the same prep stage, but we um, ended up with a totally different look. Right. So, so this is going to be a nice base for my light colors, but you can do boss in. Um, I like the clear when I want to distress down to the wood because yeah. if you just, if, when I distress this, you will see the white underneath here. Yeah. And I like the clear unless I'm just doing white. Because it's just, like if, if I change my mind on the direction of a piece or something, and I decide to distress it, or I decide to do something different, I don't have to worry about the white being underneath. Yeah. So I really, really like the clear. It's, it's almost invisible. Um, so I did the boss, and then I have a base of sandbar on here, and then vintage duck egg on my drawer front. So I'm just going over the boss with one coat of sandbar. Oops. This is quite the unusual painting experience. <laughs> yeah, and it's I just totally say. different. <laughs> but you know what? Usually when you're when you're live and it's a split screen, there's like a 20 second delay in our conversation, oh, which makes it really awkward. That is awkward. Yeah. It's like Especially you, since I'm so hyper. Yeah. Like <laughs> blurch the foul. You I, you guys, if you follow Heartland Vintage Market, Brooke is like the energizer bunny on her lives. Ah. Uh, She's so cute. Thank you. But it means they're entertaining. It's not like videos where you're watching paint dry, you know? <laughs> Nails on a chalkboard. Yeah. She's fun. Well, I like to laugh. And uh, to me, humor is like the number one best thing ever. Yeah. Like right? laughing about it taking 20 minutes for us to go live today. Yes. Yeah. Gotta laugh about we it. We gotta laugh about it, for sure. Otherwise, we'd be crying right now. Oh, for real. Um, so... The thing I love about your videos is you have a knack for picking. Thank you. And you actually go on your page and show us the stuff you pick for your shop. I do. And you find the most amazing things. Like, <laughs> what are some of your picking secrets? 
Oh, goodness. I want the good ones, too. You want don't, the good yeah, ones? Yeah, don't tell me Craigslist. Oh, now, I don't know, I'll just give away my picking secrets yeah. willy-nilly, <laughs> yo. Um, <laughs> okay, I, um, just, you know what, the number one thing for picking, get out there. Yeah. You gotta get up out of bed, you gotta go, you gotta get yourself, put yourself out there. What time were you up this morning? This morning was exceptionally rare, Kay, but I got up at 4.45. Yeah, no. And I was in my car at 5.05. And I met my picker buddy here at the shop, and we were on the road at 5.15. I'm tearing your fancy tablecloth, is that okay? It, it's quite you all You don't right. need this for Thanksgiving uh, dinner? No, I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I can't see any comments, so. Oh, loving the, uh, Lisa uh, Will says, loving the vintage duck egg and drop cloth, very French. Um, oh yeah, they are French, huh? Yeah. Kind of French country. It is Frenchy. There we go. Um, Kim uh, Dwyer, share. Thank you, Kim. Um, Lynn says, I thought it was my tech savvy bloopers. No kids here to help me, thank God. <laughs> thank you for sharing, Renee. Appreciate it. Angela says she loves Dixie Bell. It's the best. That's so sad. My kids are way more tech savvy. Even my four year old oh. can get on a tablet and, like, wow. Um, so I have a base of vintage duck egg, but I'm going to come over this with sea glass. And sea glass is like one shade off of vintage duck egg. Let me show them together. I Can love, you see that? love, love sea glass. Yeah, there. this is the vintage duck egg, and this is the sea glass. And it's just slightly lighter. So I'm going to use the, the lighter shade on top of the darker in distress to this. And that's going to be my shading instead of I'm actually blending them. Oh man, drop cloth is the best white. I love drop cloth. Everything I paint in drop cloth sells pretty quickly. So, um, I said on my intro that I've been following Brooke since before there was a Heartland Vintage Market. So Brooke was a, is a furniture painter. But what was the jump that took you from furniture painting into opening your shop? Well, I had been um, painting furniture for a few years on the side and been picking. Uh, and I had booths at a couple of um, other people's shops. And um, I was working the corporate type job. Where are you? Oh, yes, I was in the corporate world. Oh, I didn't know you were doing that at the same time. I, I was. Um, eventually, I worked for 13 years for one large corporation, and then um, I just couldn't take it anymore, and I left. And I thought, well, I'm going to try a small, small company, yeah. right? And um, I didn't like it. I basically was just like a square yeah. peg in a round hole. Yep. After all those years that I worked so hard to build up this career that I ended up hating. And so I just like, well, I'm going to make up my own job yeah. and then this is going to be it. Uh, so I guess that's kind of how that happened just because like I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I think you just told the story of so many people out there. Yeah. Um, that's my story. Like I had a government job yeah. and I hated it. You, uh, you know, would pray every day for a reason to be sick or something. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, but I think that leap of, leap of faith takes a lot of strength to take that leap. You know? I, I felt like I didn't have a choice. Yeah. When I would look at the job boards and see what, what other jobs are out there, it's like, I don't, I don't want another job. <laughs> yeah. And I just, I had to try it because, like, I'm not getting any younger, right? So you got to chase your dreams when you can. And I don't even really know if having the store is my dream, but I feel like I'm learning as I go along, yeah. you know, what I love, what I don't love. And that I'm kind of figuring it out and um, one little, little step at a time, I guess. It's part of your story, though. You know, yeah. This is an experience that you're going to have. Of, um, and I, I envy you, like oh. the strength that it takes to run a shop. And oh, so much work. Yeah. It is so much work. Well, sure. although I said to you that this morning that um, if I went picking, it would just be like a quarters habit. At least yeah. you get to sell it. You right. Know? Oh, there's my screwdriver. I was looking for this. What else is in there? Anything else? No, yeah. but once I found a $50 bill in the back of a dresser. Did you really? I'm now I look for them all the time. I'm yeah. like, where's my next $50 bill? The best thing I've ever found was um, 
a set of brass knuckles. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I was like, man, I never thought I'd have a reason to own brass knuckles, but oh, I do. That is totally awesome. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So, yeah. If I'm ever in a bar fight, <laughs> you're gonna win, girl. Yeah, you're yeah, gonna win. Yeah, brass knuckles. So this is my blend of Stormy Seas and Fluff, which is white. A uh, white. Becky wants to know, um, she missed the beginning, what color did, did you start with brandy? So I have a base of, um, this is sandbar, and then my drawers are vintage duck egg. And I'm going over the vintage duck egg with some, um, what did I say, sea glass. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember, yeah, vintage duck egg and sea glass. Okay, so then I'm I have steel wool here, and I'm taking the steel wool, can you see this? And I'm distressing down to my boss in some places. I'm blending it out into the sea glass. So I'll have those layers of color. You'll see the darker vintage duck egg, the sea glass, and then the, the white of the boss showing through underneath. And it's going to act as sort of shading. That's awesome. So Brandy, I attempted, um, the other day I watched your video where you did the patina Oh, um, buffet. Yes. You guys, if you haven't seen that, the thing is freaking gorgeous. And so, and I don't watch a lot of painting videos, but I watched that one and I was intrigued and I tried it and it looks really bad. No. I'm serious. So I'm like, while you're no. here, well, only be. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, you have to show me how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I totally don't believe and, you that. And you're probably going to say, oh, it doesn't look bad, but. No, I'm pretty needs, honest. It like, needs fixing. <laughs> People will message me, and if I think, you know, if I have a recommendation, I'll give it. Because otherwise, yeah. what's the point of asking somebody? Yeah. You know, it's like those friends that are like, do these pants make me look fat? No, you look fabulous. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they make you look fat. Oh, ouch. No, I'm kidding. I'm ouch. Kidding. Oh, man, don't be friends with the Bramster. Yeah. No, you want to know that. Why would you ask somebody? You, you know? wouldn't. You wouldn't ask somebody that. Well, Except yeah. the salesperson, maybe. Yeah, don't yeah. ask your friends because that's yeah. just, this don't just makes us feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but you know what I mean. Like if I have a recommendation, I'm genuinely going to tell you, yeah. right? So some of the ladies want to know if you're wetting the steel wool. Oh yes, I am. Normally I would have a bucket of water when I'm doing this, but I'm I'm on the road today, guys. We took the show on the road. Yeah, we're at Rookie's house. <laughs> so, yeah. Came over to my neighbor book, and so everything came in a Home Depot bucket all my supplies so I'm um, I'm just using my water bottle and my steel wool did we do a contest question I can't remember oh um yes yes what color would you paint our night oh, that's right we did if you were doing a two-tone finish ooh isn't that pretty I really yeah. like mixing stormy seas with fluff yeah or you know you can mix it with any of the whites how much and I brought some stormy seas with me yeah, Stormy Seas is good no matter what. Hope you can see that. Stormy Seas was the first color I fell in love with when I became a retailer. Yeah. And I um, I think it's still my favorite. Do you remember your first Dixie Belle order, the first color you ever tried? Was it um, well, you know, I tried. I, I contacted them for some samples before I decided if I wanted to be a retailer or not. Because, yeah. of course, I wanted to make sure that I would love the paint. And they sent me drop cloth. Oh, yeah. And uh, they know what's good. I can't remember the other one. Uh, but I loved the drop cloth. Yeah. And, you know, the, I was, you know, even if I didn't love the color, which I did, but even if I didn't, I was more concerned with the, with the paint. The yeah. paint, right? And um, some of the other, you know, the wax and stuff. So, um, but so when I got, so I did some like little, little jewelry boxes or something with those colors. And then that was the first live I saw you on the Dixie Belle page. You did like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a little while later. Yeah. Um, I do like doing jewelry boxes. Yeah. They're pretty fun. Me too. I have this collection at home, like my own jewelry boxes, and they're mini, like mini dressers. They look like mini dressers. Really? So, oh, yeah. oh, could you imagine having one of Brandy's jewelry boxes? Girl, you need to sell those it on Etsy. It doesn't have any good jewelry in it. It's well, just painted Well, it's all cute. about the box. You need <laughs> yeah. to sell those on Etsy, girl. Like, if somebody came to steal my jewelry box, they'd right. take it because it, you know, it's like your purse being worth more than anything. In right. Totally. <laughs> Um, so I can't see the side very well, so I'm mostly working on this side, so I apologize. Should I uh, bring the camera a little closer to Brandy's so you guys can see it? Or? No, it's okay, I'll bring my drawer. Okay. 
Ta -da. So you can see the layers of the colors. You can see the white peeking through. I'm from Northern Michigan. So when this dries, you guys, it's going to look shaded because you'll see the darker color around the edges. And then you'll see the lighter color in the centers and it's going to give a shading effect. But it's really, I'm just distressing to my undercoat. And I don't know what I'm going to do with mine when I'm like after the paint. Like I'm probably going to do um, maybe a little bit of brown wax yep. or um, maybe some dry brushing because there's some amazing detail on this piece. Yeah, yeah. These you right know? here you have to bring out. Like some, yeah. Or some gilding wax even. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not sure, but I'm digging on this piece. I love these yeah. colors. I know. I felt like I shouldn't even bring mine out because like Brooke's nightstands are like <laughs> the pretty sister. And mine are like the homely sister, you know? Well, I at least I have one advantage yeah, over but... you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's that's so about far. where it ends, right? So the serious. <laughs> Like, how many people would have the guts to paint with Brandy? Come on. Yeah, but, I mean, if you ask my sisters, I'm not really the ugly sister. They're the ugly sister. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gotta be honest, you know? No one ever thinks they are. No. What grain is uh, the steel wool? Uh, this is the super finest grain. This is, um... What is it? Quadruple zero. Very fine steel wool. No numbers, just all zeros. Yeah, all zeros. Does the steel wool leave debris on the wet paint? It can if you're using a piece that's too old. This is brand new and I'm, it's not. So no, I use steel wool all the time and don't have that problem. Hi Kim. Kim's brand new and can't wait to try um, Dixie Bell paint. Kim, you really should. Find your local retailer. If you go to the Dixie Bell website and you put in your zip code, it will show you um, where your Dixie Bell retailer is. And if you go in and talk to them, like um, the Dixie Bell retailers will help you figure out what do you need to start your piece. What yes. products are going to be best for what you're working on. Um, you know, that's, that's what Brooke does. Yeah, I spend a lot of time educating people and, you know, advising and um, making sure that they understand before they leave the shop, just, you know, what, how to use the products and make sure they have everything that they need. And she, Brooke actually paints with these products, so she's not just telling you from a, you know, secondhand perspective, she's a furniture painter who uses them all the time, so. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite tips on Dixie Bell paint, if you're new, is um, sorry if I splatter in your Oh yeah, splatter away, girl. Is um, after you've finished your final coat of paint, do a very very light sanding with a with a very fine sandpaper. Yeah, or like a really fine <clears throat> sanding block. One of these yeah. that's been really broken in, um, yeah. really fine. Well loved. Yeah, well loved. <laughs> Those are the best, and and it it becomes smooth mm -hmm. like butter. It's amazing how it transforms from that chalky feel to smooth like butter. And then your top coat will be smooth like butter yes. too. Yes. That's a super good tip. Marianne says drop cloth and see glass. You two are great together. Woohoo, huh? Wish me a team, huh? <laughs> so me and Brooke are gonna partner up on her business. So. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, yeah. I can sure use the I can, help. I can barely run mine. You work for free, right? <laughs> Apparently. That's my number one qualification in an employee. Oh, oh this internship <laughs> program sucks. <laughs> Shh, don't tell the other interns. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's others? Yeah. <laughs> you found more than one of us? Oh my God. No, I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. Brooke's been hanging out at the local high school recruiting. <laughs> Cleaning yes. pieces. Blech. Sanding. I, sanding. I don't mind sanding. Really? Yeah, and my, my husband will do most of it for me anyway. He really? likes it. But I don't mind sanding at all. But I do not like cleaning. Blech. See, my husband cleans my hardware for me. I hate cleaning hardware. And he will stand up oh. the thing and scrub hardware. Oh, wow. Yeah. You scrub your hardware? Well, it's That's pretty um, good. <laughs> I let it marinate in some vinegar overnight and yeah. then. Um, come back and scrub it clean when I want it uh, shiny. Yeah. Oh, when you want it shiny. I'll use the white lightning, but you have to be very careful because that stuff is the real deal. Yeah. And you can't soak your hardware in the white lightning mm -hmm. for too long. It will like overclean it. So just be careful. It's amazing 
cleaning your hardwood with white lightning is the bomb. Yeah. Just be careful not to like soak it in there overnight or anything. Yeah, if you want to, you know, you'll lose that vintage patina for sure. Right. And sometimes even in vinegar, like it will rust your screws. So take your screws out first. So let's see, I kind of like what's going on here. So I just have a little bit of the sea glass brushed in and then the darker shade of the um, vintage duck egg. And then I distressed it down to the white too. So pull this one out so you can kind of see it. It doesn't have to be super even, but you can just see the three colors working together. I'm going to wash this all in chocolate. So you had mentioned using dark wax. The uh -huh. chocolate wash is really the same effect as the dark wax. Really? Yeah. Oh, I want to see that. It's probably easier to use, maybe. I love the gray wax. In fact, yes. Stormy Seas with gray wax or Vintage Duck Egg with gray Sea Glass with gray wax, the S grunge gray. So any color with gray <laughs> yeah, wax. Yeah, right? <laughs> But especially the sea glass. Yeah, especially. especially. And those colors all look amazing with the Dixie Dirt too. So I'm going to do this one drawer in a wash of chocolate. So a color wash is when you use a super watered down coat of paint. And you're going to literally wash your piece in it. So I'm going to rub it on and then I'm going to wipe it back off. Nice. It's going to get a bath in chocolate. Oh, Ooh, I want to see That's this. like a dream. Huh? That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my god, I'll yes. In chocolate. That is so a dream. With just one little flute of champagne. Yeah. <laughs> just one. <laughs> right? Oh, man. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm loving the Stormy Seas, too. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I love the blue. It's a very Frenchy blue, but not too, not like um, little, what is it, like baby blue. I don't yeah. Know baby blue. Like hate would be more of a baby blue. Yeah, blue, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're 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 actually taking the chocolate straight on, but you're spraying the water. That's yeah, a different way I mean, of washing. I don't think there's any right or wrong this way. It's interesting. Wash. Because I normally would just mix the um, paint really oh, well in the with water. water, and then use my brush and, and wash it on that way. But um, it's you know that's one of the beauties. Like there's no right or wrong way. No, there's not. It's whatever works for you. Totally. So that just kind of dirtied up my paint a little bit. Can you guys? on camera. That looks really good. Like look at this keyhole right here. Yeah, that does look really good. It would have the same effect as dark wax. Can you see how it's kind of brown, got around the keyhole? There's a little bit mixed into my paint. But that was way faster than dark wax. Sheila wants to know if you wash it while the other paint is still wet. It does, normally I wouldn't. Normally I would let it dry. Yeah. But but for the sake of this, I did it. You know, and it didn't matter. This is dry enough, and you can still see the sea glass is still on there. That's so pretty. Whatever. I might totally, like, totally wash this whole thing with chocolate. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should I wash this whole thing with chocolate? You guys, or just the blue or the just the jaw cloth? Come what? on and tell us what you would do. That's what the question for our live. What would you do? What yeah. would? What should Brandy and Brooke do? <laughs> WWBD. How would you finish this piece? Uh, I'm all selfishly wanting to know so I can get some good tips. Yeah. <laughs> just, tell, just tell Brooke what to just do. Just decide for me, please. You should do a live like that where like, you just take suggestions and you do whatever. Okay, oh. you want me to do peony? All right, you got it. Oh. Here comes the peony. Oh, my gosh. You want me to um, put some glaze on it? All right, if you're sure. I smell a challenge. Yeah. I smell a challenge. Because I'm going to be on there being like, uh, you need brown. Yeah. yeah. Seven oh times. my gosh. Yeah, you. I'll have to block. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you will. You're like, oh shit, I just yeah. feel like it's paint right under my drawer there. <laughs> or things that I'm too scared to try, I'll be on there being like, Brooke, Brooke you should. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, okay, so you were saying that you do like markets, and I've seen you like in the parking lot, you'll open up for a market out here. How yeah, um, well. Like I do, like a parking lot sale or something. Oh, okay. That's what I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I just had like, because I have this big parking yeah. lot. So um, it's beautiful out here. Yeah, it's a great spot. Um, so I'll do that sometimes. Like um, this June, uh, if any of you are in the area, my next event is June first through third, Northern California, Cameron Park near Sacramento, and um, the theme is going to be um, a very vintage summer. So I've had a lot of fun buying vintage summery stuff, and I found this um, Barbie today. Like old bikinis? <laughs> I, would, 
I love all bikinis. Yeah. Last year, well, I don't, I don't wear a bikini, okay, but. <laughs> yeah, just not wearing no, it for other people. A, a one piece. Really cute retro kind of one piece. Retro meaning it has more fabric than today's. So I, yeah, all of a sudden I'm retro. Yeah, that works. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> um, I'm going to put some buttercream over my sandbar. Of course you are. Because <laughs> you more. are the queen of color. I can't, I can't open this. Oh no. I more have, is always uh, better. Screwdrivers? Oh, Phillips head. Um, what was I going to say to you? Oh, yes. So, so Brooke is in Cameron Park. Cameron Park is like 20 minutes outside of Sacramento. So if you're in Sacramento, Folsom, Placerville, um, all of our local Sacramento peeps, this is your retailer right here. Heartland Vintage Market in Cameron Park. Um, and even though um, I have um, my, my store is like what they call an occasional store. Meaning I'm not open like every day <laughs> yeah, or even remotely close. That's what my to... business is too. I'm an occasional picker. Right. I'm an occasional market. But I do carry um, a pretty good stock of uh, Dixieville products and I live like three minutes away from here. Mm -hmm. And I meet people here by appointment anytime to get paid. So um, even if like you go to my website and you're like, oh, but she's closed, just call me. Yeah. Because I would much rather have you come here and get what you need from me than not okay so I'm totally this is my job this is my life and this is what I do and I love to um, meet with people and help you you know solve your paint problems <laughs> so that makes me think of a funny story so Brooke is my local retailer but I've never met Brooke until today yeah despite the fact that I have bought paint from her several times <laughs> because Brooke has met my husband more yeah. than she's met me he yeah. works out here and so I'll tell him hey I need it I, like stormy seas one time I desperately needed. Yeah. So when I told him I was coming here today, he was like, oh yeah, I know her. Like they go way back, but oh, this yeah. is our first time oh, Sean? meeting. Oh, sure. Yeah. All buds. Like they send Christmas cards now. And, oh yeah. But me and Brooke had never met until today. And I'm like, but about that brandy chick, does yeah. she really exist? I mean, come on. Yeah, it's really. It's so close. We're going to be neighbors. Yeah. Because I live here and she's going to be living like very close to here. We'll see each other in the supermarket. Yes. Yes. Um, but what, what she said is true, um, like literally I'll, I'll call and tell her what I need and then she will come down to the shop and she's able to tell me what her stock is beforehand. Know your retailers, guys. <laughs> your retailers are your friends. She has saved my butt many a times. Thank you, Brandy. So I invite you to like my page, you guys, Heartland Vintage Market. I, um, if you're into junk at all, picking, I did a video this morning. I went on the most amazing pick this morning and um, super early in the morning. So I was like a mess, but who cares, right? Anyway. Um, yeah, you look all cute now. Your hair is super Now I look all cute. Yes, the transformation. Sweet. Well, I try to look cute once a week. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever day you're going live. Yeah. Yeah. But even then, ask anybody. Yeah, not so it much. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I go live as... I am many times. You're brave. Well, I just, you know, in the corporate world, uh, putting makeup on and doing your hair every day, five days a week for years and yep. years and years and years and years, and you're like, oh my God, I just want a ponytail. I want yeah. no makeup. I went to my sister's um, bachelorette party, oh gosh, a few months ago, and had to put on like regular clothes and get dressed up. Yeah. You know, to go out with the girls. Right. And I was so like oh. uncomfortable yeah because it wasn't painting clothes and yoga oh. pants and, you oh know. my gosh yeah let's see what we have here becky what's no do you normally let paint, paint dry oh well we had this question already do you normally let paint dry before you use the steel wool um normally i would yeah um um well it depends okay let me take that back not always because if you're wet distressing, it's easier to do when you're before your paint has fully dried. Like I'm trying to do it up here on the top right now, and my sandbar is dry, and I, I'm having to scrub more. So, if you know you're going to be removing the paint, it's easier to do when your paint is still a little bit wet. Cool. Rhonda says I love picking. I when my dad was alive, we went picking on auctions all the time. Great memories. That is so awesome, cool. Rhonda. I love that picking yeah. with your dad. That totally reminds me, my dad used to take us to the dump. <laughs> I 
I used to love to go to the dump with my dad, and sometimes he would let us look around. So now you know where Brooke gets all her stuff for her shop. No! <laughs> I save it before it goes to the dump. Yeah, there you go, there you go. But I, I kind of forgotten about that, that he used to let us bring home one item, like from the dump. That, that's awesome though, Ron, I love that story. <laughs> So growing up, my dad used to take us to the movies and they would have these fountains out in front of the movie theater, like wishing well fountains. And we didn't know, we were kids, and he would totally tell us to go in there and get all the coins out the fountain. You're kidding. I mean, now looking back at it, I'm like, who would do that with their kids? No, we used oh to fish in the, uh, and thought it was the best thing ever. You know? Oh my the gosh. Stuff ever, but no, don't. Oh. So wrong. Oh my. I know, it makes me laugh now, but... Yeah. No, we used to ride in the back of my dad's truck. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. That was the fun part. Those were the days of Those driving were with the no seatbelts. And... Yes, riding in the back of a truck. Yeah. So now i got to get over to this side. We do that. We go to the lake every year with friends, and we'll drive to and from the lake and let the kids ride in the back of the SUV. Shh, if you work for CHP, just... Just disregard didn't this. didn't hear that. Yeah. Well, we but, got a lot of picker people on the comments. Patty says picking is her life. She she learned it from her dad too. Yeah. Nice. Your dad was a Yankee trader. <laughs> oh god. Oh my. So. Um, so you guys like and share this post. Um, you can go on and follow Brooks page at uh, Heartland Vintage Market. My page is Brushed by Brandy, and um, we're both in the Sacramento area in California. Uh, we're out here painting outside Heartland Vintage Market in Cameron Park. And um, Brooke is my local retailer of Dixie Bell Paint. And I'm super excited to be here. Thank you, Dixie Bell, for having me. And thank you, Brandy, for having me. I'm so happy to be sitting alongside of you working. This is so fun. So usually when, when we go live, we go on split screen and we'll um, invite someone on. Well, so my idea was to come out here and not tell anybody that I was actually going to paint with Brooke, like at her shop. Right. We're but then I got out here and my wife, I didn't work. <sighs> so, I know. Best so, life so it was a, a half trick. Yeah. But you didn't know any different. I didn't. Right? And then I had to scramble and ask Dixie Bell to save the day. So thank you guys. Yeah, that, that was awesome. I thought it was going to be a good plan. It would have been funny. It still probably was a little bit of a surprise to a lot of people, who, especially who have been watching you regularly, Brandy, and know that you do the split screen thing, right? Yeah, I'm trying. It's a little crazy. So it's, um, you know, doing a piece every week live is, it's a lot. Yeah. So I'm trying to learn how to manage that, but um, yeah, we're figuring it out. Everyone gets a little bit better, you know? Yeah. You figure it out every time. Well, I can't wait to do this again. This is so fun. <laughs> Literally, Brooke, I'm going to be like 10 minutes from you. Like, I know. We'll just come. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll have to set up like a regular date. Yes. Parking lot painting with Brooke and Brandy. Serious. And you know what? Maybe we can have a live audience and this live studio audience. Yeah, both of those people would be so excited to be here. <laughs> Who are those people? <laughs> no. I, well, I actually did have a friend who wanted to come and watch Brandy because she wanted to watch you paint. <laughs> One friend. Well, one, just one. Oh, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she didn't. But she didn't want to come watch me paint, right? Friend, we'll set you up a lawn chair out front. Right. You're totally welcome. Right. Right. I said no because I thought we were going to be inside in the crowded room. <laughs> but you but. do. You do sh uh, workshops, don't you? Uh, sometimes, yeah. yeah. I do some classes. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Pretty fun. Um, what kind of classes have you taught? Um, I need a class. This the most, the very first Dixie Bell um, class I taught was an all-day workshop on New Year's Day, mm. and it was like almost every single Dixie Bell product. It was like, hey, you guys, come learn about the Dixie Bell line and get your hands dirty and uh, have some champagne. And it was an all-day thing. It was like New Year's Day party for fifty-year-olds. You know, like <laughs> that's a lot. It was. Um, because the Dixie awesome. Bell line is no joke. It has it is no it's joke. a really complete line. And I had to learn it all, like, you know, really quickly yeah. so that I could teach it. But, then, you know, like the Dixie Dirt and the Glaze and the... Did people come and stay all day? It was 
like, oh wait, I think about 16 people. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. It was killer. Yeah. That's like the perfect amount. It, it was. It was perfect, you know? It was a fun day. And I've done some other classes, you know, just basic. Um, I do a lot of basics because a lot of people around here um, just are beginners. Yeah. And so they just want to learn the basics. And then I've done, you know, like next level, level two, which is working with more of the artistic, you know, products and stuff. But I mean, like I myself, I, like I said, I'm kind of a simple painter. I kind of keep things a little bit simple and, until I don't. All of a sudden one day I'll get crazy and do something weird. Yeah, this is not looking good. So uh -oh. it's, it's too brown. Huh? Oh, too brown. Yeah. That's my chocolate. So how are you going to fix that? Well, I should have let my buttercream dry because then when I came back with the chocolate wash, so this is a time when I would let the paint dry. That's what I did. So oh. I okay, so you should have let the chocolate wash dry? No, the buttercream. The I don't want this dry before, oh, I see. before I did the wash because then it just washed it off and made it too brown. Okay. And I don't want, I want it a little bit white. So, I'm learning. Well, Michelle thought it looked good. She said it made it pop. Oh, you like that? Okay. Dixie Bell says dry, dry brush drop cloth. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. What are you doing? I, I um, love that stormy seeds with the white. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, Kim says that we make a great team. We're fun to watch. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> um, but I'm still like, I, I must have missed your, your answers on what I should do with this, you guys. What should I do with this? <laughs> yeah, come on, we need some instructions. What would you do? What would you do to make these details pop? Would you dry brush? A little something something. <laughs> it makes me think of like those, um, like choose your own adventure novels when you were a kid. Oh. Did you used to read those? Is that where you like you choose your own ending? Yes, or, yes. Right, yeah. But you would skip ahead and be like, well, if I oh, yeah. um, take this path, am I going to die? Or, oh. you know, so I'd read ahead first because right. it's not the adventure, adventurous type. Yeah, cheater. Yeah. Cheater. <laughs> mean. It's either cheating or it's just really smart. Oh, I see. I see. So this is drying, and I like this drawer because it's got the the lighter color, the darker color. It's got my chocolate wash in here, just on the edges. I'm going with it. Yeah. So you guys, if you like and share this post, we're going to be giving away some paint tonight. Yes. I've stepped on it three times now. We're going to spin to win some Dixie Belle products. Um, so we've got a lot of people like and share already, so let's see if we can get a few more. Oh, so Betty says pearlescent glaze brook. So, oh. ooh, I like that idea a lot. Yeah. Or a gray wash. Betty wants some paint spin to win, huh, Betty? Um, Elaine wants to know how do we both make it in the same room? She missed uh, the beginning. It's magic. We live in the same town. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke's my neighbor. So we came on over. Not literally my neighbor. Um, you guys know I'm building a house. We're building a house literally. 10 minutes from Brooke's shop. So she is my local retailer, mm -hmm. which is really cool. So I'm getting some ideas. Lynn says maybe some wax and dirt. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I love it. Love Dixie Dirt. That's one of my absolute favorite products. So it's a good idea. Dixie Dirt Ash. Love that. Dry brush. I like um, the Dixie Dirt idea. The, the audience wants you to chocolate wash. Oh, me? Oh, see, I like that idea too. Well, a lot, actually. Chocolate I might wash it really has the same effect as the dirt, or even dark wax would give you that same, mm -hmm. you know, just dark in the details. It would pick up yeah. all of this in here. Yeah. Oh, and this. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, isn't that a pretty piece? How much are these? <laughs> so I think there there are two, and I think it used to be a vanity. Oh. You know? Yeah. But I think it'd be, and I have a dresser. It's the one that I kind of painted that came out pretty. And I now have to repaint it um, to match this. Yeah. Is it, are they an original set? Or um, no, they just, you know, go yep. together, right? So oh I wish gosh. I hadn't already painted the dresser. Now I'm going to like repaint it to go with the nightstands. That's funny because that's what I'm doing with these. I have a French provincial dresser and I needed yeah. French provincial nightstands and they are not a set, but I'm going to make them a, a set. set. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You can find similar style pieces. Yeah. And with a paint finish that matches, anything can be a set. Yes. So what do you well, say? You want to give away some paint? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Do you want to choose? Oh, well, let's see. Okay, right. so I'll just uh, scroll back and look for someone that 
shared and commented. Let's see. What an honor. You guys ready? Who wants to win some paint? SK Sartell. SK Sartell. You are the winner. Is that a name? That's yeah, a name. Yeah, but that's, um, what? She has a shop. Um, oh, is, are you, a, is she a retailer? Yeah, she, uh, SK. SK and Elderberry. Oh. Right? Um, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, now what? <laughs> <laughs> Can retailers win? Two winners? Two winners? Mm -hmm. Two winners. <laughs> Karen Medina says me. <laughs> See, you should have picked. How about two winners? How about uh, Stacy Myers Rudenbacher? Rubenbacher, excuse me. Stacy Myers Rubenbacher. All right, Stacy, are you here? Come on and talk with us. Stacy. 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 All right, ready? Okay, this thing's been super fast. So, you want to spin? Oh God, I, I screwed up the, the other part, so how about you, you spin? <laughs> Ready? All right, Stacey, here's what you're gonna win. Woo, woo. Big money, big money, big money. What does it say? 16. I can't read it, it's backwards. 16 ounce glaze. Ooh, Ooh nice. pearlescent glaze. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> or the sapphire one. What glaze would you get? Um, I'm a big fan of Gray. Yeah, the grunge gray. Yeah. You can't go wrong with grunge gray. Cannot go wrong with gray. Stacy says I'm here. Stacy, you won 16 ounces Yay, of glaze. Stacey. So message us either on my page at Brush by Brandy. You can message Brooke too at Heartland Vintage Market or um, on the Dixie Bell page. And we're gonna get you your glaze picked out. So go shopping, girl. You won. Yay. Congratulations. Can I put in a plug for I'm actually gonna be live on the Dixie Bell page all by myself on June 8th. Yay! And I think I know what I'm gonna do. I Brooke's think, going solo. She I'm totally going solo. I've done yeah. it once before. I'll do it again, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna work, do a dry brush technique for you guys and yeah. create a garden chair. Ooh. Yeah, I'm out of in. a cheapo little thrift store chair. I'm gonna watch that. June eighth. You are a genius, and she's so fun to watch. You guys oh. tune in with her on her page at Heartland Vintage Market. She goes live all the time and has fun peppy happy little videos just like <laughs> except when I don't super cute <laughs> no. yeah but Brandy you guys I mean right so what an honor to be here today thank you Brandy yeah I've had a lot of fun this Me is probably too. the only shop I can actually come and paint with somebody not yeah. solo in my garage so yeah, this has been a fun experience totally fun. so thank you guys so much yeah, for watching so congratulations much. to Stacy on your glaze Yay. and uh, thank you Brooke yeah thank you bye guys, bye, guys. We'll see you soon Thank <laughs> you.